the state television campaign alert in Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. The 10th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The establishment of the RCM Armenians. The resistance of Voske Park kicked out the AU observers. Chronology of the genocide against Armenians. The European Union has opinion on the peace between Yerevan and Baku. Japanese helped Armenians and Greeks during the genocide. Cultural genocide. The 10th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. On April 15, the 10th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The session was chaired by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan. During the session, the general situation of the Government of Western Armenia was discussed. The spokesperson of the Government of Western Armenia, Armen Vizayagan, presented the activities of the organizing the commemoration ceremonies in memory of the victims of the genocide against Armenians, which are being held in Yerevan. Armena Gablahamyan, the first President of the Republic of Western Armenia, spoke about the Tavush region issues on handing over villages to the enemy and expressed the position of Western Armenia. Armenia Gabrahamian also mentioned that he has initiated another court case, which we will talk about in the near future. The establishment of Dersim Armenians. The name Dersim does not appear until the 17th century. It was after the occupation of Western Armenia that Dersim appeared, instead of the place names like Mananarik, Garia, and even Zruan. There is a tradition with a historical basis among the people on the subject. In 1604, Shah Abbas was destroying the buildings and prosperous towns and villages of Eastern Armenia on the one hand and taking the Armenian population with him to Persia on the other hand. The Sinan Pasha's allies destroyed the areas of Western Armenia up to Karin. In 1605, in the spring, the Armenian population of Karin, Zyarzen, Gagna, and Kamakh, after the massacres and destructions, left their homes, their homeland, naked and thirsty, and took shelters in the western provinces, looking for the help and a place to live in the region of Constantinople and Thrakia. And in those years of disaster and tragedy, in order to avoid the robberies and massacres of the Jalalis, the Armenian population converted to religion. Already in 2010, in occupied Tigran Agar, the Armenians of Dersim Union was established. In occupied Tigran Agar, which in a very short time became 600 families whose members were born in Tunjeli. Selahatin Gultekin, the founder of the Dersim Armenians Union, who in 2010 applied to the court and changed his name and religion affiliation. From now on, Gultekin's name is Miran Perkic. Miran said that he couldn't read the official registration of their union for about two hours. After 50 years of living on the faith of others, I am relieved that I stood up for my identity, emphasized Miran. The residents of Voskepar kicked out the AU observers. AU observers visited Voskepar in Eastern Armenia the other day. Moreover, they visited by passing a number of parts of the Yerevan Noyemberian road and reached Voskepar through Alaverdi. The people of Voskepar, having learned about the visit of the observers, rushed to meet them. But when the observers said that Hijevan Voskepar road and the surrounding areas, in their opinion, areas of Azerbaijan territories, an argument broke out between the people of Voskepar and the AU observers. The people of Voskepar just threw out the observers, saying that they will not allow that anyone that their native land to be considered as Azerbaijan. The citizens of Voskepar had a similar conversation with the commander of the Third Army Corps, Karagin Bogosian, urging Bogosian to inform his political leadership that the residents of Voskepar will not allow them to hand over land from Tavush. Chronology of the genocide against Armenians. In 1915, the beginning of the deportations and the massacres of Armenians in Western Armenia, Zaytun, in 1915-1916, the people of Zaytun resorted to self-defense, which however ended in failure. In March 1915, the Armenians of Zaytun were forcibly displaced and went to the Derzor Desert. Most of them were slaughtered. The survivors were exiled during the First World War. April, June, after the destruction of the Armenian soldiers enlisted into the army, the second cruel attack directed to Armenians in 1915 on April 24. On that day, a select group of Western Armenian intellectuals, including Armenian members of the Majlis of the Turkish Parliament, writers, lawyers, teachers, journalists, doctors, public fig figures, clergymen, and artists, numbering about 800 people, were arrested in Constantinople and, without presenting any official charges, exiled. 
All of them were destroyed on the way to exile or in exile upon, upon arrival. Armenian party and political figures were systematically arrested and killed. The famous leader of Zeytun Nazareth, Chaush, the outstanding national figure of one, which had the entire leadership of Urfa's Armenians about 100 people suffered that fate. The aim of the Ottoman government was to immediately overthrow the Armenians of Western Armenia, to leave them without military power and political and intellectual leadership, to disintegrate the Armenians and thereby prevent any possibility of the Armenians to organize resistance. They lost their organizational and resistance power, which explains the relative ease and large scale of the genocide. After that, the destroyers moved on the forced displacement and destruction of the main part of the Armenian population in its own cradle, in Western Armenia itself in Gilikia. Massacres and deportations of Armenians covered all of occupied Armenia. Delphine Prang, the president of the European Union's Political and Security Commission, stated that the time has come to take concrete steps to ensure peace and stability in the South Caucasus region. Prang posted this in his X microblog, thanking Hikmet Hajiyev, the assistant to the head of Baku, head of the Foreign Policy Department of the Presidential Office, for an excursion around the current challenges. Prang stated that it is the high time to take concrete steps to ensure peace and stability in the region. The AU is ready to deepen cooperation and continue to support peace efforts, wrote Prong. Prong also noted that the AU is Baku's main supporter in the mining. By training a women's demining team, the AU is helping to increase the role of women in security. It is time to take concrete steps for peace and stability in the region. In 2010, in an article published in the Armenian Weekly Periodical, we presented how the Japanese provided humanitarian aid to the Armenians during the genocide against the Armenians. Regarding the humanity aid of the Japanese during the genocide against the Armenians, the most significant story was by a Japanese ship cap captain and naval crew in 1922 after the disaster of Zmurnia. They aimed to save the lives of refugees who escaped to the port. The capture of the city by the Turks was followed by mass Massacres and deportations of Armenians and Greek citizens, which became commonplace. Four days later, a fire broke out in the Armenian part of the city, which destroyed most of the city. Witnessing the disaster, about 20 allied warships and cargo ships were standing at the landing, including one Japanese one. Many foreigners witnessed how the Japanese ship was mobilized to save the refugees who were on the verge of insanity. Miss Anne Harlow Birch, who was the wife of the American Professor Birch of the International College of Smyrna, witnessed how the disparate refugees gathered at the docks during the burning of Smyrna. After 2020, the city of Shushi is at the core of Baku's policy of destroying Armenian historical and cultural traces in the occupied territories of Artsakh. It should be noted that this policy started back in the Soviet years in the 1960s, when the history of the city of Shushi began to be edited as a result of which it began to be presented in the scientific and popular literature dedicated to the city as a purely Azerbaijan city, gradually reducing the Armenian cultural and historical heritage. Mentions of and then and also generally keeping silent about them, in 2022, the Baku government allocated funds for the restoration of the former real school building in the occupied city of Shushi. Ilham Aliyev, who visited Shushi in May 2023, got acquainted with the project of the restoration of the building. There is a fear that during the restoration works, the inscriptions on the main facade about Grigor Arakelian, the constructor of the building, may be deliberately erased. Officially, Baku is working in the direction to finally erase all traces of Shushi's Armenianis, which is clearly evidenced by the restoration of two churches, symbols of the city. Ghazan Chensot's Cathedral and Green Hour, the final destruction of Armenian historical cemeteries, and etc. It should also be noted that the real school of the city of Shushi was founded in 1881. Students from this school could enter higher education institutions after graduation. This was a school with state status where teaching was conducted in Russia. Initially, the activities of the school were organized in the house of Movses Bey, a rich man from Shushet, and then by the decision of the Vikeroy of the Caucasus in a small building built in the Armenian district. This was all for today. Goodbye.